Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and those who are neither wherever you are in the world. I'm Ramblin' Rusty Elm, and you're watching Ramblin' with Rusty Starfield. Last time on Rambling with Rusty, we traveled to Parma 3, where we ran the Red Mile and met with May Divine to set up a meeting with Marco Graziani, the money man for the first. Then we traveled to the moon of Kodos, where we met with Marco and confronted him about his group's activity. And after a short but intense firefight, we went through and collected as much intel as we could. Today on Rambling with Rusty, we're going to take that intel back to the rock in Aquila City and then do a little shopping before heading out to the next part of this quest line. So, without further ado, let's get it on. You ever hear that one about the orphan and the platypus? A year or two back, I shared a drink with Ron Hope. That man. Elga says I spend too much time at my terminal. She's probably right. Hey there, deputy. How goes the hunt for the first? Well, so far, so good. But, slowly. Hey, sometimes doing things right means taking the necessary time, you know? If you ask me, I don't think they stand a chance. You're like an Ashta creeping silently through the high grass, waiting for your chance to pounce, <laughs> and then BOOM! <laughs> Down they'll go. So, did you get any more of those encrypted slates? Because, let me tell you, I am so close. Well, thank you for the compliment, Alex. And yes. But I'm going to yeah. do with this. You know, big nasty four-legged thing with razor-sharp teeth. Fast, quiet, deadly. Maybe you've never heard of them. I mean, it's only the most dangerous predator in basically the universe. So, why should you have... <laughs> okay. Who, me? Without you? Not a chance, deputy. I knew you were a natural the moment I laid eyes on you. All right, Alex. Well, there's your slate. Um, oh, I guess I need to go in here and talk to these guys, apparently. Come in, deputy. Take a seat. Grab a chair. I suppose I should turn that off. While you've been in the... Unfortunately, some didn't survive. Not really, no. We can't be everywhere at once. Right now, our best hope to stop them is you. Mm. It's worse. No. It's tragic. How's your investigation proceeding? It's going well. Once Alex cracks their encryption... That's assuming he finds something useful. Otherwise, you'll be no better off than when you started. Come on, Emma. This is true. You know as well as I do how tough this job is. That's exactly my point. When it comes to deciding who earns a Ranger's badge, I will not compromise. Let's move on. I asked the other rangers to share their opinions of you, and there are some things I want to go over. We'll start with Ranger Callow in Hopetown. She was grateful for your timely arrival, and impressed you had the guts to take on those pirates. 
Nia says you were respectful with Ron Hope and didn't push too hard. That shows me you were listening when I said to go easy on him. Exactly. Dealing with a council can be tough, but it comes with a badge. No need to make it harder than it already is. Ain't Let's continue. Truth. We've got a detailed report from Ranger Price about your recent visit to Neon. He said you took on a syndicate loan shark to help an informant. Yeah, I really did just trade favor for favor. It wasn't about taking on the syndicate. Uh, and I don't know if he was actually innocent, but his story was good. You played the hand you had. It was a sensible and practical trade. Just to make sure any favors you trade in the future don't require you to step outside the law. You got results, and that's what matters most. Price was impressed by that. Said you really took the initiative. Ranger McMillan praised what she called your uncommon bravery and dedication. <laughs> she said you took on the Red Mile so you could get a meeting with Marco Graziani. Sounds like you're starting to understand what it means to be a free star ranger. So what yeah, happened with really Marco? Can't let people I suffer. doubt he gave you that slate out of the kindness of his heart. I suppose underestimating you was his last mistake. Damn. I thought if anyone could see reason, it'd be Marco. What about Maya Cruz? Her loyalty to Hull and the 1st Cavalry was stronger than most. Uh, she didn't have much time. Uh, she didn't have much time left, so she... I guess I'd want around. the same thing if I were in her place. Excuse me, Marshal? Not now, Alex. We're in a meeting here. I know, but this is important. I've done it. I've cracked the encryption on the slate. Now, I don't know exactly where the first are headquartered, but there are references to a place called the Factory. The Factory? That was our nickname for the main facility where the mechs were manufactured. Under the terms of the peace treaty, they shut all the mech factories down right after the war. But they didn't destroy them. At least not all of them. What do you Never saw it myself, but I know it's a large facility, mostly underground. If the first are occupying it, they'll probably have set up defensive positions throughout the complex. Ooh, that sounds bad. I'll go check the it out. The facility was on Arcturus too. It could be a dead end, but if it's not, then you'd better be ready for a fight. Be careful, yeah, deputy. I think you're right. Okay, now let's, uh, let's see, where are we at? Okay, we need to go this way. Yeah, time for a little weapon Not everyone dropping, I think. They work at the rock. Better this than being some dust wrangler. Welcome to the rock, I guess. We'll stop in here and, uh... I can pack... You seen those ashed outside the walls? They keep me in bit. Have a look, Deputy. I'm sure there's something here you can use. Enjoy Aquila City. And for God's sake, be careful. All right. Didn't have much to sell to her. And looked like we got plenty of, uh, healing the supplies. The Systems News Network. News you can trust. So let's see if we can find a decent weapon. Oh, 
that explains it. Good lord. Laredo makes some good guns, but if you want to rank outlaws, okay. But if you start shooting up the town with something I sold you, I'll be more than a little displeased. Well, yeah, all right, we found one weapon here. Let's go check out Laredo. See what they've got going on. Ugh, I hate instantly putting on the pounds like this. The UC can't be that bad, can it? I think you'll find that we carry fine weapons of all kinds here. Here's what yeah, I have in stock right now. You all right. You meet all sorts in Aquila <laughs> City. Laredo didn't have anything we wanted, so... Uh, I guess we'll go look elsewhere. Aquila City is bustling. One of the, the trade authority looks. I'm sure something will catch your eye. Well, yeah, once again, that was another bust. So I guess we're off to somewhere else because we definitely need a better primary weapon. Where is this guy? All right, where are you at, buddy? Jesus, I suppose I could rob him blind if I wanted. There he is. I'll say right up. Here, browse to your heart's content. Okay then. Well, we've got some uh, stuff offloaded from the ship. Unfortunately, he didn't People have joke. a weapon either. Those baroon zealots worship a snake. So we'll make one last stop here and. All right, let's see if we are done here in Aquila City, and we're off to, yeah, I guess we'll head over to uh, New Atlantis. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on the way back to New Atlantis, I decided to stop in at Hope Town. See if maybe we could find a weapon <clears throat> and finish selling off the stuff in our inventory. You here for commerce or another board tourist? Some rules. If there's one place there's some law and order in this town, it's here. Don't even think about stealing anything. No haggling. The price is the price. And might be some other rules. Don't be an ass. Yeah, you know, good rules. Then we won't have any problems. If you need weapons, the best defense is the only place in town. You may be thinking this place is a dump, but the hardware isn't. Lots of customers pass through. We got something for everyone. Well, let's see. Music to my ears. All right, no weapon Stop here, it. so now we're off over here to the bar where we'll finish selling off our stockpile of loot and talk to the trade authority guy, see if he's got a weapon. 
As va- there was a time when every literal right. good to see you. Alright, still no weapon. Yes. But we've sold off everything that we're going to. So we're just gonna jump straight to New Atlantis and see if we can't find a weapon. Here in the residential district. There's no I'm sure you already know there's only the finest collection of armaments in the settled system. I'm afraid, due to recent legislative action, I'm no longer able to allocate ships. I can, however, deal in general goods. Welcome to UC Distribution. Something I can do for you? Oh, well, certainly. Back to it, then. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have finished our shopping. We found ourselves a better primary weapon and picked up some ammo to go along with it. So now we are off to take on the rest of the first and put it into their scheming to take away the farms. Let's see, Arcturus, that is where we want to go.
load of ships in here. See what you have in store for me. We have a civilian outpost and we have the mech factory. Oh, doesn't look like we have much in the way of resources here. So we won't worry about it. was up with that. That looks like a regular colonist. Hello. Yep. Okay, well, we don't want to do anything with them, so... Oh, hey, hello. for crafting or profit? <laughs> oh, we make a hell of a team. Yeah, we'll see here in a minute. Okay, well, we found a massive crater in the middle of nowhere. This is not exactly the best spot to take a picture from, but... Alright, now, back on mission.
those plants in this biome. And looks like we got a couple more uh, animals left to finish scanning around here somewhere. There's one. What's the readout? Didn't even break a sweat. Decent, huh? And here I was trying to be nice about getting them. Something's out there. Maniac. Oh, Somewhere. Hey. Time to dance. Oh. Now, see, Sam, you started that fight, and we had to kill all these innocent critters. Wonder why we have a bunch of dead botanists here. I think I'm going to split the recording here because this is a nice long run through here. And we're going to call this an episode, and uh, we'll see you next time on Rambling with Rusty. I'm Rambling Rusty Allen. Have a good night, and don't forget to stop and smell the roses.